all right, let's try and explain explainable AI. This idea that you understand, at least as best as you can, what the AI does. You have a input into the AI and you're going to get a consistent output. And if you're not getting that consistent output, you know why you're not getting that uh, consistent output and you can go back and adjust. So let's talk about, you know, the value and the problem statement and how we solve for it. You, in theory, can put all of your data into AI. Let's say it's open AI. We can create a agent and we can use RAG to upload all of the data, all of our data set into a platform like open AI. It can then tell you, oh, you're not getting improved Twitter engagement because you're not tweeting about uh, software enough or you're not talking about customer experience. How do you test that? Like, how do you on that platform go in and say, well, if I were to change the amount of software conversation I'm having, then shouldn't I see an increase in engagement? So you should be able to tweak that. You should be able to ask chat GTP or whatever model you're using. Chat GTP may not be the best model for this, but you should be able to tweak that input and then get the expected outcome. It should max. Its prediction should then say, oh, if you talk about software development or customer experience 20% more, then you should have a outcome that maps your diagnosis of what your original problem is. If you don't get that, then you have some tweaking to do, whether it's weights, biases, or the data that you're inputting or the query or parameter that you're, uh, that, that you're asking that prompt needs to change so that it's consistent and you're getting the, AI results that you expect. Years ago, I attended this tech field day event in which a software provider said, hey, trust us, we can improve your SQL performance. My initial feedback was, wait, SQL runs my most important applications. How can I trust you? What are the weights and biases you're using? They responded, oh, you know, it's the blackest of boxes, basically. You created a Twitter handle to, to make fun of it. Needless to say, that company didn't stay in business because their AI model wasn't transparent. You don't have to give away the keys to your IP when you're creating models, but you have to make them as explainable as possible. Even if you're not creating models, you're making models available, your internal customers need to know the difference between one model and a different model and the bi bias and weights in one model versus the bias and weights in another model and how to adjust the inputs and outputs in the different weights and biases in the model. Explainable AI. If you thought this was a good explanation of explainable AI, comment, like, if you didn't think it was all that great and, you know, like for me to just go away, also comment. Don't dislike the video, though.